We were talking beforehand, guys, about uh, the altitude, and, and Graeme, you, you referenced it back to 1986, playing with Scotland and Mexico, where you really struggled at altitude and in the heat when Alex Ferguson was the Scotland manager. Do you think, is, is this, does that partly explain why the match was so flat today? It was played at 4,000 feet above sea level, or did we just watch two, dare I say it, bad teams? Because they, they have to go back down again. Um, Algeria head back down to, to sea level mm -hmm. to play England on Friday. Is that going to be a problem for them? No, not when you go back down. Yeah. It's on, it's when and then, but they have to go back up again. Their last match is at altitude. Well, again, yeah, we could talk for length about it, but basically yeah. the simple, as I understand it, and it's certainly the thinking going into the Mexico World Cup, for every 1,000 feet you're playing at, you have to spend a week in preparation. Yeah. So it was 7,000 in Mexico City, that meant seven weeks. No one had that time to prepare. And it's like England played at 5,000 feet yesterday, I believe. They didn't have five weeks to prepare for that. Yeah. And please believe me, I know that Johnny, Johnny didn't agree with me last night, but it does have an effect on you. Yeah. It makes you the thought yeah, you can I think you'd feel have to heavy. Say as well, that teams that are alternating between when they come back down, Graham says they might get the, the benefits and the advantage, but yeah. when they go back up again, when they only have a couple of days to prepare yeah. for the game, that's got to throw the, the system. As you said, it, it affects people in, in different ways, but uh, we'll see if it, it is a factor over the, the course of the next while. It's one little excuse in inverted commas that England could have used uh, for last night. Slovenia and Algeria, well, Slovenia will not be using it as an excuse.